1,500 years ago, most of Europe had abandoned its old beliefs and turned to the Christian faith. Only in the north did the people hold on to the gods of their ancestors. The most powerful of these gods was Odin. He reigned among the stars in Valhalla, and his ravens gave him wisdom and memory. But whilst the fire of the ancient powers faded, a wondrous tale arose that captured the hearts of the people. It told of a blacksmith who slew a mighty dragon and won a legendary treasure, the Dragon Gold. For much longer. We can't stay here, Sigrun. Take us on a go. I'm not leaving you. Sigrid! Thank you. Well! Sigrid! My brother always watches out for me. <laughs> Come on! 
for a morning switch, isn't it? Who are you, boy? What happened? What happened? I don't know. I can't remember. are in the ruins. They never lie, but they won't be rushed. Albert, don't keep me waiting. Fire will rain down from the sky very soon. Tell me more. And the light of that fire will reveal your destiny. So far from home, what destiny could I have here? After the fire, a man will come. A man as strong as you. The warrior's strength will match your own. He will even best you in battle. No one's ever done that before. No one else ever will. Anchor for the night soon. Get the cargo ready for the kick. 
You work on this. All right. Greetings. How can I help you? We're looking for Avid, the blacksmith. That's me. They say your iron is the best around. What can I do for you? What swords have you got? Well, right now, nothing at all. I can see a lot of nothing right there inside. Although, they were made for King Gunther of Bergen. Well, he's not here, and we are. Meaning that you plan to steal King Gunther's property? Stealing, he says. Just count yourself lucky we aren't offended. Eric, I think your iron is getting cold. I do. Once in a while. Yeah, I know. For sword practice. I wish I could see them sitting up there. All the great heroes at table with the gods. And they're watching over us mortals. But why do they care about us? They need us just as much as we need them. We'll fight on their side when the evil powers attack us. But how do we know what they want us to do? They map out our destiny. You know, all the signs of the sky. And if they see from up there that we do something that's bad for us, they, they get furious. The Christians say their God is all about forgiveness. The Christians. They're a strange lot. I'm gonna take a closer look. Oh, no, 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 don't go, don't go. We should never meddle with the gods, never.
You're the woman from the longship. And you're the man from the smithy. Tamer of fire and the elements. Then maybe you can tell me what this is. Some kind of strange metal. I've never seen its light before. Imagine the weapon one might forge from it. Is this metal the reason you came here? No. You are. <laughs> Never mind him, blacksmith. Tell me something. Do you believe in destiny? Why? We were both sent a sign that would bring us together here. <laughs> that sign was big enough for the whole country to see. The only ones here are you and me. Today, the runes promised to lead me to a man whose strength would be as great as mine. And you defeated me. I just wrestled you down. No one has ever done that before. Until now. So you see? We were meant to meet. Why don't you stay here with me? Oh, Eric. I would love to. But like you, I have duties to perform. But I will wait for you. But where will I find you? Iceland. <laughs> but there might be more than just one Brunhild in Iceland. Not more than one who is queen. You're the queen of Iceland? Yes. <laughs> Does that make a difference? No. Not to how I feel about you. Good. Because no matter what happens, I will love you forever. I promise I will come.
wanted it to happen. But I'm a blacksmith, and she's a queen. Up north, there are many tales about blacksmiths who became kings. Really? There have always been things that were different about you. Maybe she felt them too. Father, take me with you on your journey to Bergen this year. Why? Maybe the river holds an answer to what happened before you found me. You were never curious about that before. It never really mattered before. Maybe last night changed you. I don't know anything about myself. I've never even left the smithy. And now I feel I must. Let's get the boat ready. We'll leave tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Sure looks like that. But who's the enemy? King Gunther is at peace with the Saxons. See, for a western sewer, Chef. No, I got your message. What is it you want now? Fafnir the dragon is awake. You must convince King Gunther to gather his best warriors and kill Fafnir. Why would I put their lives at risk and mine? I don't care about the dragon. You wouldn't say that if you knew what was hidden in his cave. Go on. The ancient treasure hoard of the Nibelungs. You've been babbling about that ever since they cast you out for trying to thieve it. And now you want me to believe the horde is here? The dragon was sleeping on it. So you've wasted years of the mortal life they cursed you with. And the treasure was under your nose the whole while. That's funny. You won't laugh so hard when you've seen it. You've never dreamed of such a horde of gold and jewels. Why would I help you and not keep the whole horde for myself? We know each other too well, you and I. Some of my blood courses through your veins too. Enough! <laughs> Don't ever dare to speak of it. I know that you're ashamed of where you come from. But remember how many times I've helped you with my magic. We could help each other now. Very well. I'll choose the best of the king's men. Move fast. There again. Why do things by half? Oh, yeah. 
All right, Cream Hill. Ready? Let it go. 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 <laughs> huh. So much for the pigeon. I really need to work on that bird's hunting technique. If he ever comes back. Good to see you. Good to see you. Back, there he is. Are you sure he'll come back to you? Of course. He knows I'm his lord and master. Very well. Lord and master. Go get him back. What a beautiful bird. Give him back. He belongs to me. What's its name? Arminius. Oh, like the great hero chased the Romans out of the country. Yes, now. Now give him back to me, boy. Who are you calling a boy, boy? I'm the king's brother, and I call common men what I please. Ah. Did you hear that? What? What's that? Uh-huh. He says, I'm no common man, but the tamer of fire and the elements, and that's what you should call me. Shall we try again? Stop that nonsense, Eric. You back the hawk to Prince Diesel here. At once! I hoped you wouldn't give up so easily. I'll get you a new one. <laughs> hey, Vint. Oh, Lord Dunkra. We've been waiting for you. I'm glad you got here safely. We saw the devastation coming up the river. It's a dragon. Fafnir, they call it. <gasps> the monster came out of nowhere and started killing, destroying everything. I'll tell the king you're here. Yeah. Hi. Now look at this. This is even better. You have a good eye for blades, my king. Forged and tempered by my son here. It's well balanced in order to make it move like an extension of your arm. You've learned your craft well. Thank you, my king. I've always said there's no better weapon maker in the land. Avent, you arrived just in time. I need your best iron to help my men fight the dragon. Brother, with this sword I could fight the dragon at your side. Let me come with you. You know my answer, Gieselherr. It would not be wise to put two princes of Burgund in danger at the same time. You handle it very well, Prince Gieselherr. The balance is perfect for you. Please keep it. It's yours. A simple gift. Thank you. 
The creature should be hunted down. I too asked to join your quest against the dragon. That task is only for those warriors most honored and favored by the king. Please excuse his impetuous youth, my king. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> What did you think, Eric? That the king would be waiting for you to kill the dragon for him? I can do it. Ho 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 ho! With your mouth you can. Make sure it reaches the right temperature. Aren't you helping me with this? It's your sword. Didn't I teach you how to do it? Yes, you did. Then do it. you forever. May God be with us and grant a swift victory. It's not polite. I'm not staring. She is, though. Tamer of fire and the elements. May I enter? You may. And please do call me Eric. I'm Prince Kieselhead. Well, would you care to pump the bellows, Prince? Thank you. Actually, I came to thank your father for the sword. I neglected to do so earlier. Oh, he's asleep now. But I let him know you stopped by. I've never met a blacksmith who knows how to use the sword so well. My father always says you can't forge a good sword if you don't know how to use one. It's good to have a father like that. What about your father? My father was killed in a battle years ago. My mother died soon after. How do you know when the iron's ready? The feel, the way it looks. This one will need hammering for days. It must be wonderful to make things with your own hands. Do you have a talent or a craft? I'm a prince. I'm not allowed to work. It would disgrace my brother, the king. <clears throat> Don't you get bored? Yes. If it weren't for my sister, I'd go mad. She's quite a pretty girl. Every nobleman in our kingdom wants her. She doesn't want any of them. Well, that's your one, then. Why do you ask so many questions? Are you smitten by her, too? 
My heart is elsewhere. Just hope my brother is able to kill the dragon. The dragon's hide was hard as iron. Our weapons were useless against it. Take him in! You will be avenged, my lady. I swear it. This is your masterpiece, my son. What will you call it? I don't know. Why? A sword as great as this deserves a name. Then I shall call you Balmung. Balmung? Balmum was the sword of the last king of Samson, destroyed in battle. Why do you want to call him that? I just like the sound of it. Come out! 
Come out, you worm! Fafnir, I'm right here!
you are wise, you will leave empty-handed. This gold is not for humankind. It belongs to us. I think it belonged to the dragon. We are the keepers of the gold. Gold that only we can own. The hoard was ours, till Fafnir stole it from us. Heed our warning, or you too will pay. Who are you? The Nibelungs. The people of mist and twilight. You gave the gold back to us by slaying Fafnir, and we thank you for it. Thanks all very well, but I'm the one who risked my life to kill the dragon. That should be worth something. It is not worth a single coin of this treasure. Not when it comes with a curse. I don't believe in curses. The proof is outside. Fafnir lies dead because of it. I think he lies dead because of me. And what's this? That is the ring of the Nibelung, the oldest thing in the Horde, its heart. The one who possesses it is the treasure's owner. That's beautiful. And as deadly to you as anything else here. It's gonna take more than just words to frighten me today. I'll be back for it soon. When the curse begins to bite, beware. For it will find your weakness, and through it, destroy you. What sorcery is this? I'll give it back. Who are you? I should have known better. What? The dragon's blood. It made your skin impenetrable. Listen, I killed the dragon. What's to stop me from killing you too? The magical tunnel. You can keep it. It made me take your shape. What do I need that for? I look like me already. Yes, but with it, you could wear any shape you desire. Prove it. Put it on your head. Listen, are you trying to? You say the magical words. Shadows and vapors, all the same. But then you must think who it is you want to turn into. Shadows and vapors, all the same. Really ugly. <laughs> then I must look like you. <laughs> Are you going to spare me? Go. Another mistake, young mortal. Now you also own his enmity. And the curse. Why? Who is he? His name is Alberic, and he was one of us. But greed awoke in Alberic. He wanted the treasure all for himself, like you. When he tried to steal it, we cast him out and stripped his immortality away. How about we make a bargain? I'll only take half of the treasure, you keep the rest. Wouldn't that be fair? Half the treasure, all the treasure. 
or just that single ring. It's enough to bring the whole curse down on you. It's all mine now. Lady, you set tests for your suitors. Such tests are almost an insult to their rank. These men who ask for your hand are royal kings and princes. And I am a queen. They're equal. And I have a right in my own land to make whatever laws I please. Yes, but... Then tell them that the queen of Iceland will only wed the man who passes the test she sets. And who can defeat her in single combat. But no man can hope to succeed at such tasks, Majesty. One man will succeed. And one man will marry me. And I will know that man as soon as I see him. You may go. You're thinking of the man you met on the night the star fell, aren't you? The blacksmith. I have thought of that man ever since. And I will marry no one else, Alvera. Not a prince, not a king. Not the Roman Emperor himself. And if your handsome sword maker does appear, what then? You're sure he's strong and brave enough to pass whatever tests you've planned? He has defeated me once already. Only he will defeat me again. The rune stones do not lie. Where have you been? Hunting. Any luck? What is it? What does it look like? It's a dragon's claw. <laughs> Where did you find it? On a dragon's foot. Of course you do. You think you can fool your old father, huh? If you don't like its claw, how about... Its head! the dragon <laughs> it's wonderful <laughs> Fafnir is dead Eric the blacksmith killed the dragon yes he's dead do you hear the dragon is dead Eric killed the dragon <laughs> it's true it's over it's over Please advise. Gunther! Eric killed the dragon! Alone! This blacksmith must be blessed by God. Not the devil. He succeeded where you and twelve of your best warriors failed. Whatever power he used against the dragon, he could use against you. He did this for me. Open your eyes, Hagen, and let your suspicious mind have a holiday. People of Bergen, I command that Eric the Blacksmith be proclaimed a hero of the kingdom. Long may he be honored for his great victory. Long live the Dragon Slayer. Even the honor of guarding such a treasure would bring fame to Burgund, my lord. And respect for its king will increase beyond measure once it is known that you have been entrusted with the safety of the horde. My king, the dragon slayer is outside. Send him in. It sounds most attractive, Hagen. But all of these benefits depend upon 
what our young hero has to say. King Gunther, I am greatly honored by your offer to hold the treasure in safekeeping for me. But you don't trust the king? Well, I trusted him well enough to kill a dragon on his behalf, Lord Hagen. Did you? That was a fair hit, Hagen. Now, Eric, the word but usually means some difficulty. My king, it's only I'm not sure your treasury has enough room. Sword me, favored by the king. And still a pagan. The hammer of Thor, the god of thunder, the working man's god, and my <laughs> god. You baptized? Yes. But tonight, I'm pagan again. Dragonslayer do now that there are no dragons left to slay. He goes home to a smithy. With all the gold you brought back from the dragon's cave, you don't need to work. But my father taught me the art of changing charcoal and ore into iron, and I enjoy doing it. <laughs> Defeat dragons with iron, but win maidens with gold. <laughs> How many? One, two, a dozen? None. My heart is pledged already. Who is this fortunate lady? Highborn or low? High, I think. Or fear. <laughs> Maybe too high. Perhaps she doesn't know you love her so deeply. All sorts of arrangements might be made for so great a hero. Would I know her? No. She lives far away. So. To whom is your heart pledged? Are you married? No, I'm not. If I ever marry, it will only be for love.
come to me. I'm waiting for you, my love. Do you know who you are at last? They call me Eric the Blacksmith, Eric the Dragon Slayer, and Eric the Hero of Burgund. Ah, but these are just titles. One honest, one honored, one honorable. But none of them are who you really are. Kings have struck at Odenwood. They've burned our towns and taken our people as slaves. Even as we speak, honor is under siege. Damn them. Damn them both. We've lived in peace with the Twin Kings for almost ten years. Yes, but for most of those ten years, Bergen's treasury hasn't been filled to overflowing with Fafnir's hoard. Greed will negate any treaty. How strong is their army? Four, perhaps five thousand men. We can match them in strength. But they're on the move. It doesn't matter. Send messengers to all our towns. Master the army of Burgund. We leave at once. But my king, Eric the blacksmith, owes you no allegiance. But he killed Fafnir on your behalf. If he agreed to join our army, I'm certain it would encourage our warriors. And discourage the enemy. To meet a man who slew a dragon single-handed would give anyone a pause for thought. Command? No. Ask that he ride with the Burgund host. Brother, I also wish... Diesel Hare, I honor your intention, but this is not about glory. If we don't come back, you must live to defend Burgund and your sister. Meanwhile, we ride. King of the Burgunds, my masters, the good kings Thorquin and Thorkilt, do not wish for this battle. Since we outnumber you, I believe that. We will spare your lives, and spare Burgund its certain devastation, if you yield up to us the dragon gold. I am the wrong man to ask for the gold, messenger. If your masters want the gold, they must take it up with the man who slew the dragon. <laughs> Let me talk to them, my king. No. I will never allow this. We will fight them together. 
It is my treasure, my king. And I feel enough blood's being spilled over it already. My king, if the Dragon Slayer can help avoid more bloodshed, then let him. If he fails, we attack. Another messenger. I hear you want something of mine. I'm the Lord of the Dragon's Gold. If you want it, you're welcome to try to take it. But you have to fight me first. Big words for blacksmith. Takes more than gold to make a man worthy to fight a king. And it takes more than a crown to make a man be a king! Siegfried, son of Siegmund, king of Xanten. You are beaten, and your kingdoms will be divided between the kings of Bergen and Xanten. I shall kill you both for what you did, but that wouldn't give me any satisfaction. Just get out of my sight. Tied to the House of Bergen forever. What you have in mind, my king? My sister will marry Siegfried of Xanten, and I'm sure you will not find this too difficult to arrange.
waking at last. But I've won a mighty treasure and I want to bring it home for you. Siegfried, you are the only treasure that I wish for. Hurry, my love. I'm waiting. Siegfried means to take the treasure back to his father's castle in Xanten. He must be stopped. From what I hear, a whole army couldn't stop him. King Gunther wants him bound to the House of Berg and through marriage to Krimald. But there's some other woman. What do you have in mind? One of your cantrips, spells, or potions? And if he could suddenly forget his other love and find the princess attractive instead? Then the gold stays where it is. I can help you, if the price is right. What do you want? That boy took something from me. It looks like a mask. The man who knows its secret can look like anyone else. See if he knows that secret. Interesting. Get me the Tarnhelm back, and the potion's yours. The potion first, thief. Once I have proof that it works, then you'll get your Tarnhelm. You'll have it the day after tomorrow, my son. Don't ever call me. If killing you could change it, I would have done so long ago. <laughs> As the moon wanes, the heart wanders, sweet memories dwindle, the heart grows cold. Drinking the draft makes you love sweeter, past love and memory with it alone. As the moon wanes, the heart on the sweet memory dwindles, the heart grows cold. Drinking the draught makes new love sweeter, past love and memory with it at all. These potions bar, nothing prevaileth, grey iron, nor silver jewel, nor gold. just been working for a long time. <laughs> but there's no need for you to work anymore. There's all the gold we could ever need. Don't tempt me with gold, son. Iron is my metal. You're just tired, father, that's all. I'll get you something to eat and drink. Father? Can you still call me that? Your true father was a king. You knew? I suspected it. I saw the mark of the royal house on your tunic. And later I learnt that the twin kings were looking for the lost son, but never found him. Because you gave me another name to protect me. It would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
to say that that was the only reason. You see, I'd never had a wife, but with you, I got a son. That, and it was such a joy to be a father, your father. And I've always been proud of you. I wanted you to know that. And whatever I am, it's because of what you taught me. Listen, the world around us is in the throes of great change. And the new powers struggle with the old for domination. And I've done my part in that struggle. So when my time comes, my body can descend to the gods in the old way. The way of fire and water. But you and your queen are children of the old world too. The gods gave you wondrous powers and you must fulfill your destiny together, wherever it leads you. I'll bring a love with me to Zanne. I promise you. But you're gonna come with me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Traveling left in me. I have hardly even breath and breath. There's still so much for you to do. So many sorts to make. But the blade is forged. There's no need to bother with lesser ones. My throat is dry, son. A drink you said you were going to get me. I could use that now. Of course, father. I'll be right back. Sjöldra ett samma. En i ord styr där är dreje. Fem är säge. Yes? My Lady Crimmel. May I please speak with you? I wish to be alone, Lord Hagen. It's about Siegfried. What about him? I expect him back any day. Of course he will come back for the treasure. And not because of you. What are you implying, Hagen? I have noticed you have feelings for him. You speak of matters you know nothing about. I know, my Lady Crimmel, that you have loved the Dragon Slayer since the first moment you saw him. And I have come here to help you. Once the treasure is gone, there is nothing to keep him here. What is that? Certain herbs with interesting properties which, if correctly brewed, will make a heart grow warm. That is wrong. That is no Christian thing. It is the old magic of spells and curses. All he must do is to drink this mixed with wine. And so long as it is you who gives him the cup, any love for any other woman will be forgotten, and only you will burn in his heart from that moment on. But why? In battle and in council, I have always served the House of Burgund and the best interests of the king. 